IEBC. Let me say on the matter of IEBC, the recommendations that I have read say that political parties participate in the appointment of commissioners to IEBC. My brother Raila Odinga is good at football. So let me try to ask, how fair will be a league where the referee is appointed by teams? And not all the teams, some teams. How, how fair will this league be? If, that, if, if you persuade me that you will, ha you will end up with a fair game, fine. That's what I'm saying. So if you tell me it is okay for some players, for some teams, not all the teams participating, to appoint the referee, if that's what we are saying, I have my reservations. And I need to be persuaded like many other Kenyans, that that is fair. On the third issue, you have heard me, I have heard you. The third issue, Your Excellency, is the independence of our police force. The 2010 Constitution was very clear that the police must act independently of any politicians whether they are in government or in the opposition. To recommend that we will have a police council chaired by a CS is actually a derogation from the independence of the police. And I want to ask you, we must be careful on where we are going. Today, you may have the latitude to do what you think will be right as per you. Tomorrow, the shoe will be on the other, on the other leg. I have confessed I am a scientist and I am a bit slow. I want you to explain to me in this proposal. You have said that in this proposal, we will have the president with his running mate, deputy president. They will win, uh, or we have candidates, they will win an election. And then the president will appoint the prime minister and the two deputies from the winning coalition. And then we will have the runner up being the leader of opposition. Now, no problem, it doesn't matter who it is. I have no problem. You know, let us not personalize, there is no problem. <laughs> now, the question, the question I am asking myself, have we sorted out the winner to call question? Oh, is that so? So, the president from his side, like for example here, President Uhuru Kenyatta, I am here, Kimunya is the prime minister, uh, because he's the leader of majority. We have Jimmy Angwenyi, who is our deputy, as a, a, a deputy prime minister, and maybe Maoka Maore as one of the deputies. So, what happens to the whole NASA brigade, together with Musalia and all these other people? I mean, and, and I am not saying, I'm not saying anything, I'm just saying, I want to be persuaded, and forgive me if I am slow, forgive me, there are so many Kenyans who are, who are, who are in my category, are we together? Finally, on this inclusivity question, it is my humble submission that as we discuss inclusivity 
around us, the leaders, we must have a candid, open discussion on inclusivity about the millions of Kenyans locked out by poverty and employment. We must discuss how they are going to be part of the Kenyan society. That discussion we must have. And I want to thank uh, the young man, very good, and the bright, intelligent young man from Kitale, because he said that we should not bring 16th century uh, technology. And I am sure he was referring to the wheelbarrow. And I, possibly he was referring to me and this wheelbarrow. Cindy? Yes. Good. Now, the question I want to ask us, how come in the 21st century, a 16th century tool called the wheelbarrow, millions of citizens in the 21st century are still dependent on the wheelbarrow and mokokoteni? That is the discussion we need to have. Yes. That is the discussion we need to have. And that discussion is a discussion that involves millions of Kenyans. Millions of Kenyans. Let me then say, as I conclude that uh, the Honorable Kalonso Musioka I am finishing you know I speak for millions of hustlers so just give me a minute thank you thank you very much thank you very much thank you very much so, Bishop Oginde said that the hustlers must stop the hustling.